Welcome down to the Malted Man Cave. I'm Keith. And I'm Dave. Tonight we're going to be reviewing a compass box. Alright, so tonight we're going to be reviewing a compass box. You, mm -hmm. you remember the the brand compass box, right? Yeah. Um, we've had some pretty good ones down here. Um, yeah, I was just, uh, it's so funny that you're doing it tonight because uh, Whiskey in the Six posted something on Instagram about, I forget what bottle it was, but the packaging. It and, was a compass box? No, I forget. No, it wasn't a compass box. But it might made me think about like other cool packaging, and I can remember I looked up Tobias and the Angels oh like gosh. box. Do you remember how good that was? Oh, it was so good, <sighs> like candy, juicy fruit, bubble gum mm. with alcohol infused in it. Oh what my a gosh, dream. that was so good. Yeah. Um, so tonight we're gonna be doing Compass Box, the Lost Blend, and we have to give a big shout out to George and Amy Kaplan. They provided this to us, so thank you guys. You guys are amazing. A um, little bit about Compass Box. I think most people know. Like one of the things that they're you know, kind of famous for is their transparency. You know, they've even been sued by the Scotch Whiskey Association many times for just they're like, whoa, 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 too much can't be info. doing that. Too much info. Can't be adding staves. So, but I happen to love you know what they do. Um, always higher ABVs, natural color, non chill filtered. Um, and they just make some amazing whiskeys. Plus, they add Klein Leash a lot, which is one of my favorite distilleries. So. Um, also, I met John Glazer in Indiana a while back, and he was one of the nicest guys you will ever meet. That always he's, makes he's not matter. like you know doesn't speak condescending to people. He'll just sit down and take time to talk talk to you. Just a truly good guy. So I definitely want to support him wherever I can. So Compass Box, the last blend. I want to read a little bit. So this is a, a letter from John Glazer. He says, "In 2001, we created our first single malt blend, which we called Eleuthera. I think I'm murdering the pronunciation." It was an elegant and simple blend of approximately 80% unpeated Highland and 20% peaty Isla single malts. Alas, after three years, we were suddenly no longer able to obtain one of the key whiskeys required for the recipe. So sadly, we retired Eleuthera in 2004. Quietly, I have always been looking for whiskeys that, that we could use to bring it back, even if tempor temporarily, but not with any luck until now. So... Um, Compass Box, the last blend, I think it's comprised of 70%, 70.8 or something like that, Klein Leash um, and Richard Hogshead. It is comprised of Kalila. 22% um, about, I may need to give you some more. It's more. okay. 22%-ish. Um, you <laughs> Kalila only have the whole bottle. And Hogshead again, and then... Altavan, it's like 7.5% of it. Oh, yeah, I definitely need to give you some. All right, that's good. Thank you. Um, oh, man. Mm, I can smell it from down. And Talk about difference in glassware. <laughs> Shh. It's we like, don't it's like. That. <laughs> uh, so, that, lastly, I said it's 7.5% of the volume is Altavan. Um, it's in first fill Hogshead. And for people who know, there's a little bit of misconception out there. So Hogshead is just a reconstructed cask made of different stays from other barrels. Um, it's a little bit bigger than a bourbon barrel, but it's smaller than a sherry butt. And a lot of people think that it's only bourbon, but you can actually have a sherry Hogshead. And a lot of people didn't know that. And actually, when I first got into it, I didn't think that either. But fun fact of the night, you can have a sherry Hogshead as well. Boom, knowledge. So without further ado, You've been whiskey. Let's get into the nose. What do you get? Mm. All right, so this is this is gonna be a little, a little weird, but it's it's good. Man, it reminds. me. Oh yeah, me we're of, going in blind. We didn't get any notes for this. It reminds me of a Cliff Bar. Have you ever had a Cliff Bar? Yeah, and I I can go there with you for sure. Yeah, just like a chocolatey but but grainy <coughs> granoli, maybe some some molasses or something in there sweet something sweet but drying yeah 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 and maybe <coughs> some dried like uh like an orange or citrus or yeah something something like a dried fruit in it yeah, there's tons of orchard fruit so obviously i get that klein leash character that it's like waxy vanilla candle 
apples, pears, like a citrusy or, there we or, go. or, or a pear, pear yeah, or a pear. Maybe even a little frosting. And then almost like a bitter, a bitter white grape juice kind of note. The Concord grapes that are a little bit on the like more bitter, like semi-sweet. Then you get a little bit of that, <coughs> the Kalila. Have you ever had Ruby Red? What's that? It's uh, um, grapefruit juice. I don't think so. But like with something else on it. Ruby Red? Yeah, just grapefruit juice. Reminds me of a grapefruit juice. The peat is is it's there, but it's it's a little bit more subtle than you would think it would be for 22% Kalila. It's just like almost like swordfish. I know sometimes when I have like mostly bourbon matured, and by the way, I think this is mostly bourbon hogshead, by the way. I don't think there's any sherry maturation. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's all bourbon hogshead. I'm um, pretty sure too. But it's it's hogshead. Yeah. I got a nose for that sherry. Yeah. Can't sneak up on me. Almost like a meaty swordfish, and then it's like a little bit of bonfire smoke. Maybe even a little flannel or linen note. You get anything else? Maybe a little, uh, little graham cracker-ish, a uh, little. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of that. We just had some graham cracker snacks tonight before bed. Nice. Just me and my wife, no kids. Really? For Valentine's Day? I can't, no, no, I'm just saying, uh, I can't, uh, who's going to give me crap for it? The Welsh Toro. Welsh Toro, yeah. <laughs> A lot w of kid talk. WT. <laughs> All right, what do you got about? Mm, what's it? Uh, let me tell you, hold on. Dave loves his children. I just kind of like my children. Just kidding, Chris and Ella. I hope they don't watch these videos. It's going to be awesome one day when they're, like, drinking along. Hopefully. Well, we might not be able to find any of them. I know. Scotch when the whiskey, end of the world happens. Scotch whiskey would probably be outpriced for everybody. It's going to be, like, 400 bucks a bottle and all NAS crap. Okay. So, I'm getting a lot of the candle wax. Yep. Uh, what you just said. The candle wax. And vanilla candle wax. Uh, and the smoke takes over the show on the palate. I totally agree. Like, you can be... It's almost... I mean... You know there's smoke there, but the peat really takes over on the back. So on, the, I didn't even say, I didn't even say smoke or peat on the because it's so subtle. Mm -hmm. And then I, it's like, hey, I will say this. Um, I mean, this still tastes good. It's, I don't think it's gone bad yet. But that was in there for like a, a, a year and a half, and so a lot of it had been oxidized. I think it still tastes delicious, but I think yeah. that's why on the nose, maybe it was a it little, was a little bit more muted. Yeah, come on. So man, initially it's. All of that citrus, oranges, apples, pears, like bitter grape, Concord grape juice. Almost like the graham cracker thing that you're talking about, or maybe like a little frosting note, white yeah. frosting on a, like a wedding cake. Yeah. Um, kind of reminds remember. me of that. The waxiness is there. It's not as prominent as you'd get with, a, you know, like a regular Klein Leash, like the 14 or like signatory cast rank Klein Leash, but it's there. And, yeah. And, that's, I love Klein Leash so much. Yeah. Gives it kind of like a another dimension to the whiskey when it's got a, a feeling to it. There's a little bit of meatiness to it. Almost like drying oak a little bit. Like the swordfish kind of fish is kind of there. Um, but it doesn't taste fishy. I mean, swordfish, the reason I like swordfish is because it doesn't taste, out of all the fish that I've had, it doesn't really taste that fishy. Yeah. yeah. Um, Maybe a touch of cinnamon and nutmeg. Yeah. What mm. about the finish? Or do you get anything else on the palate? Hold on. Nope. I'm just kidding. You know what it reminds me of? What? I know I was telling you about this the other day. So when I was in the military, I was in the Coast Guard. I did law enforcement. We were at a port security unit. Um, we, at any time, like in any, like 48 hours, we could have to be anywhere in the world and establish a port. And a lot of times we would actually even land, like if we really had to do it with Marine fast teams, I was like, this is not what I signed up for to be in the Coast Guard. I thought I was going to be on Lake Erie and I was going to be doing like drunk driving on the water and stuff like that. And like, nope, we're going to the Middle East next year. <laughs> but anyways, so before we were deployed um, down to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, 
Um, one of my buddies in the military, he makes moonshine and he brought apple moonshine. And have you ever done it? So what you do is you have cinnamon and nutmeg and you lick it. Then you take a shot of the apple moonshine. And then after the end, someone squirts in like whipped cream. It tastes, it tastes like apple pie. And for some reason, this reminds me of that sensation. Bro. A little bit of that cinnamon nutmeg, then the apple, and then a little whipped cream. I like Obviously it. with some smokiness and some swordfish in there. Yeah. Pretty yeah. good stuff. Anything else you got? Uh, no, just that citrus, uh, kind of that, uh, um, what I said before, uh, a cliff bar. If you've ever had it, it's like a multi-energy bar, grain, um, I know what you're saying, but I don't know how to describe it because I yeah, definitely I agree with you. Yeah. I don't know what it is about it. And it's it. almost the texture. It's almost the aftertaste of that. Um, so anyways, it's delicious. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, hard to explain. Like bar. Yeah. Maybe about, some, yeah, just dark fruits. I think they use a lot of... Uh, um, uh, what, what are the, what are the uh, dates? Uh, <laughs> no, maybe not. Dirt. No idea. Yeah, I think they use dates or something like that, but it reminds me of that. But right then, I just got at the end of the finish. I mean, sorry, at the end of the the palette, mm -hmm. I got a little juicy fruit bubble gum. Ooh, it's which, back. Which I get Clean a lot in Clay Leashes. Yeah. Um, all right, what about the finish? Long, short, medium. Any notes stick out? Yeah. So the 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 smokiness of it definitely kind of rolls around in your mouth a little bit it feels like um but the yeah yeah the uh juicy fruit and with a bunch of fiery fi heat yeah, in there and some maybe some swordfish yeah swimming around some salty swordfish some salty swordfish salty swordfish yeah <laughs> i like it yeah so for me it's yeah. not it's about a medium finish yeah um comes and goes i actually think fresh when I first had this, Maybe I think it was more long, a little but longer. I think it's just been oxidized. So we should have done the review sooner. We apologize to you, Malted Man. You Malted Man Cave subscribers. Um, so medium, you get all that amazing orchard fruits, apple, apple pie, like cinnamon, nutmeg, whipped cream, salty swordfish, drying oak, and then a little bit of that, uh, that just bonfire smokiness. Yeah, I like it. Lots of man cave. Mark, what are you going to give this? Um, <clears throat> so this one's going to have an asterisk because I've barely had it. But what I have had, it's pretty good. It's not Tobias and the Angel good. No. No. It's a good... It, I I would enjoy it. Um, I probably I probably want it, um, this version of it, what I had tonight. But I'd like to try it again um, someday. So for now, I'm going to give it an... 86. 86. An 86, and with a little asterisk saying it could be better. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to give this about an 88, almost an 89. I think I like this even better when it was fresher. I think it's a little bit more subdued. So I'm going to say, I'm going to give it an 89, because I think I remember really, really enjoying it when I first opened up the sample bottle. Yeah. So I think it's an 89 for me. I really, really love Klein Leash with a little bit of peat. It reminds me a little bit of the the one brewer that I got to taste, um, which they're bringing back. Did you know that? No, I didn't. So brewer is, yeah. no, you know, like was the peated yeah. side of Klein Leash. And yeah. the, it was closed, but they're bringing it back. They're opening up the distillery. So, so I cannot wait. Yeah. I wonder what it entails bringing it back. What, what, how do you bring it back? You just, sometimes, sometimes they just bring the it back and, and it's brand no. You know, because a lot of times, the, the st sometimes they actually have the old stills. And right. that's that's when you know, okay, this is going to probably taste exactly the way it used to. Sometimes the stills break or they don't have it. And then it's and like, replace like is this really going to taste like the old, you know, whatever break. distiller being? Right. Um, sometimes they have like all the specifications down right. So even if they don't have the old still, they still know how exactly to build the new still. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm pretty sure Brora, I think they have the old specs or maybe they even had the old still. I don't think they have the old still. I think they have the old specs. I'm just talking to my butt right now, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I heard that it's going to fun to look it's up. It's probably going to taste the way it used to. Uh, they have enough of the things, the process memorized or documented from the past. It is probably going to taste pretty similar. So thanks. Nice. Here's hoping. Yeah, that's exciting. Um, Malted Man Cave question of the night. Yeah. Um, 
So, I work with a lot of older people, and a lot of older people don't know what to do, and they lose meaning in life. And if you've ever seen a sad old person, it is the saddest, angriest thing in the world. <laughs> Angrier? And, oh, they're always so angry. <laughs> yeah, angry at me for, like, having, like, a life. Ah! Youth is wasted on the young. <laughs> Anyways, so it got, it got me to thinking tonight, uh, <coughs> what are Keith, what, what are Keith and I going to be doing when we're uh, old men retired and uh, to keep us busy so we're not driving people go crazy? I'm going to let you go first because I still need to think about it. Yeah, I need to kind of, I'm thinking on mine uh, on the fly a bit, but I do know that I, um, I always like working with my hands and my grandfather gave me all of his woodworking tools, but I don't know how to use them. And he died before um, I was uh, before I could ask him, and before he gave. Do like, so you have a bunch of woodworking tools? Yeah, I have like like a huge crate of just all these different types of hammers and chisels and. Um, <laughs> that reminds me of Meet the Parents. <laughs> He's like, oh, JC was a carpenter too. <laughs> What is that actor's name? Owen Wilson? Yeah, Owen Wilson. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, JC was a was a curve in there too. <laughs> um, oh, so sad. I think I I think I'd like to get in and he made like <clears throat> he made my toy chest, which was then it's now Ben's toy chest, and like he made like all these little rocking horses for so I'd like to be that like old dude that's like still that's around cool. because yeah. the stuff I made is still the, the box, like he he built this the square um, little half box <coughs> and took all these like uh, pieces of wood and it fits all of them fit in there perfect. It's pretty amazing. I hope to be that good one day. How about you? So three stand out. So I don't really have just one. So nice. I've always loved traveling and I've had the chance to actually travel to almost every continent. I've probably been to like 60 different countries, but Ever since I've been married to my wife, I really haven't been, I've been to like one or two. Yeah. So I'm hoping I can get her to want to travel later. Sometimes she gets worried and that we have younger kids. So she's like, I don't want to leave my babies. But I hope we can travel when I'm old, when we're older. Um, and the two, I want to get back into hunting um, or just shooting for fun. I mean, I act when in the military, I used to shoot all the time and I haven't been shooting in like five years. So I want to do that. And oh crap, what was the last one? Hunting traveling, cooking, random. I know, I enjoy the finer things in life. Obviously that's why I like scotch. I like whiskey, I like, we still really like wine and craft beers, but cooking, I don't know, like I'm a good griller. Yeah. I can make some pretty good chicken, ribs, steak, um, but I wanna get better at like actually cooking and, and I don't know, not necessarily baking, but cooking. Yeah, awesome, yeah. man. And then I, I don't have time or the patience now, but yeah, when you get older and you have free time, you, yeah. Just have fun with it, so. Nice. Yeah. Nice. All right, guys. Tell us what you want to do when you get older, when you're about to die. You haven't been, you haven't been shooting your guns very much. You want to do a cake pop right now? <laughs> Desk pop or cake pop? Cake pop. Cake you want to do a cake pop right now? You can do it. Just one cake pop. You're allowed <laughs> one. Lindsay will give you one. She'll give me one. All right, guys. Thank you, as always, for watching the Malted Man Cave. Please like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Watch our bourbon videos sometimes. Yeah, you scotch people <laughs> who like our channel. Oh, please. If you want our channel to do well, please oh. watch the bourbon videos. You don't even have well. to watch it. You can just, put just it click on it real quick, give it a like, like minimize and then turn it, it off. Minimize just, it, just, go just walk click around. on it for 10 seconds. Oh, rest in peace, my bourbon. This is for Dave, man. Do, oh. do this for Dave. Rest in peace, my, my dreams. But of as Dave's, always, Dave's bourbon but as always, scotch is Obviously, but bourbon's still the best.